time! I have mixed feelings about it. I don't know if it's terrible or awful. All of your stories are shallow. The trouble with you is you've never really suffered. Great writers are supposed to suffer. This isn't suffering, it's literary criticism. Let's start again. Mm, that's a terrible way to begin your story. It's so trite. Once upon a time. That's the way all good stories begin. Try that. Begin your story with once upon a time. <clears throat> no! How about a love story? Everyone enjoys a love story. Something with true depth of feeling. Hmm. What do you know about a broken heart? Your heart isn't broken. Try again. Hmm. I said love story, not horror story. Why don't you write a story where a boy meets a girl, then loses her, then wins her? Yes, that's it. Shall I help you with your story? That's a good idea. I'll just climb up here and help you. Ugh. <sighs> there now, this is going to work out fine. I'll just sit here, watch you type, and give immediate criticism. Well, go ahead and write. Just write what you feel. Charlie Brown, did you catch that? You've got great hands. I do. Why are you standing out here all alone on the pitcher's mound? Baseball season's over. Let's play some football. I don't know. I'm not very good at football. I can never seem to kick one. So kicking's not your specialty. Maybe you can throw. You might have the makings of a world-class quarterback. Me, a quarterback? Do you really think so? Sure, I'll show you how to throw like a pro. First off, the tips of your fingers should touch the laces. That's right. Now grab the football like a sandwich. What type of sandwich? And pull the ball behind your ear, just like that. This is important. Square your shoulders with the goalpost. Now you're aiming. I am? Now, step toward your target and lean on your back foot and push all your weight into the throw. This is the critical part, Charlie Brown. You've got to try and see over your blockers and find your wide receiver. I do? It's called the play. Your receiver fakes right, he fakes left, he's sprinting to the 15-yard line. Is there enough time for him to get into position? Is the receiver clear? Will your pass be intercepted? Do you call it an alternative play? Do you run the ball? I don't know. You start to run, but the pass not clear. The guards can't hold the line. You've got to throw the ball, Charlie Brown. Throw the ball. Throw it. So, you want to play football, Charlie Brown? Ugh. Ugh. It's going to be a long season. <sighs> the old pitcher's mound. You and I have spent a lot of time up here. I love baseball. I could play baseball every day of my life. You're an unusual girl. Let's say it's the last half of the ninth inning, two out, and you're up to bat, Chuck. Even though you're my friend, I still have to try and strike you out, right? Of course. There's no other way to play the game. You kind of like me, don't you, Chip? I worked out the schedule for our teams. Take a look and tell me what you think. You touched my hand, Chuck. You sly dog. <sighs> I have a problem, Linus. I think Chuck likes me. He's nice and all that, but how could I flip over someone like Chuck? I could strike him out in three straight pitches. If a person likes another person, but that other person doesn't like the first person as much as that first person likes the other person, what should the other person do? Say that again. 
If a person likes another person, but that other person doesn't like the first person as much as that first person likes the other person, what should the other person do? I don't know. I don't want to hurt Chuck, but how can I possibly look him in the eye and tell him I don't like him as much as he likes me? Write him a Dear Chuck letter? Linus, you're a genius. Beep. <laughs> look, look, I got a letter. I think it's from the little red-haired girl. <clears throat> what? I know you like me, and in my own way, I like you too. Did you hear that? She likes me too. That's not from the little red-haired girl, Chuck. It's from me. You like me. I do? How can you be so stupid, Chuck? Your heart is breaking, and you don't even know it. I don't. By golly, if I ever hit a deep drive into center field, and I round first base, and I round second base, and I round third base, and I go tearing into home like a runaway freight, you better not be in my way. <clears throat> That's the longest thread I've ever heard. Why don't you love me? Do I talk too much? Listen, I'll remain completely silent, and it will be there. In that silence, you will realize you love me. Is it working? I've had a profound realization about love. That it's just as simple as liking someone a lot? No, true love is about eliminating the competition. Who? Is Schroeder interested in someone else? No, not someone, something. It's woman against piano! Women is winning! Women is winning! Uh, 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 I can't believe you threw my piano into the sewer! Your piano was my competition. Now you have no choice but to love me. Now I have no choice but to climb down into the sewer. Schroeder? Hello, Charlie Brown. Lucy threw my piano in the sewer. It's raining. Get out of there before you drown. I couldn't hold onto the piano. The rain has probably swept it out to the river by now. Let's go. I'll bet Beethoven never had to put up with this. There it goes. Are we sure that was your piano? Uh, couldn't catch your piano, eh? It floated out to sea, huh? Oh well, if you were to play it now, you'd just strike a sewer note anyway. <laughs> Any other competition I should know about? what the whole trouble with you is, Charlie Brown? No, and I don't want to know. Leave me alone. The whole trouble with you is you won't listen to what the whole trouble with you is. You need someone to point out your faults, Charlie Brown. It's for your own good, and I can do that. My system is unique. What's so unique about it? I've created a slideshow presentation. <sighs> Dotty, 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 dum. Okay, turn out the lights. First, Charlie Brown, we'll look at slides that deal with your many personality faults. Some of them are quite shocking. Take this one, for instance. Ah! Easy, easy. This is only the beginning. Eesh. Next are slides of your inherited faults. In other words, these are faults over which you had no real control. These take about an hour or so. Oh, good grief. If it's any consolation, you rank above average in inherited faults. I stand consoled. Now, these slides show your biggest and most damaging faults. Because of their importance, they will be shown in full color with <gasps> dramatic music. <sighs> Ah! Turn it off! I can't stand it any longer! I 
can't stand it. I've never gone through anything like that in my life. I never knew I had so many faults. I've never been so miserable. It's not so bad, Charlie Brown. Just wait until you get my bill. Oh, I don't feel so good. What's wrong, Charlie Brown? He's probably been hit on the head by too many fly balls. I think I'll go home. Yes, sir. Too many fly balls. Yes, ma'am. My name is Charles Brown. I think I have an emergency. Hello? No. I'm his sister, Sally Brown. He's in the hospital, but who will feed the dog? I wonder if I'm dying. I wonder if they'd tell me I was dying. I wonder if the little red-haired girl will rush to my side. I've got to stop thinking about things like that. I can't believe that Charlie Brown is still in the hospital. What if he never gets better? It's not fair. <laughs> It's strange you're so upset because you treat him so poorly. <sighs> Stop wiping your tears on my piano. Well, Sally says Charlie Brown isn't feeling any better and she's moving her things into his room. Mm. I know you can't hear me, Charlie Brown, but if you get better, I promise I'll never pull the football away again. That's quite a promise. I bet he feels better already. You know, I suddenly feel great. Charlie Brown, you're back. You're well. I heard something about a promise. Oh, good grief. Remember, you promised you have to let me kick the football. I don't know about this, Charlie Brown. There's no stopping me now. I can't look. Ow! Well, I did it. I kept my promise. I didn't pull the football away. Yes, and I messed up and kicked you instead of the football. I'm sorry. Is there anything I can do? Yes. Next time you go to the hospital, stay there. <laughs>